for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got some more official Madden 23 news for you guys. I really have a lot of Madden 22 videos that are recorded and I'm really trying to put out. But Madden 23 stuff just keeps dropping. I mean, this is the time of year uh, where they really start bringing out a lot of official content. So if you guys would like me to continue these Woo! videos, as always, hit the like button in the comment section. Or if you are still playing Madden 22 like I am, if you guys would like to see some of those videos a little bit more consistently, let me know in the comment section. Because like I said, I have a couple of them recorded, edited, ready to go. And then Madden 23 stuff keeps dropping. So this video is really about two things. Uh, the first thing is the Madden 23 cover it has come out it is official and it should make a lot of people happy because i know a lot of people are really worrying that ea was going to mess this up the madden 23 cover athlete is a little known figure by the name of john madden who whether you played his video games uh whether you uh heard him as a broadcaster whether you you know watched him as a football coach when you were young or whatever everybody knows john madden he's an absolute football legend the guy was in countless commercials uh the guy was you know he's just to me to a lot of people he is football he's as big of part of football history as any member um i can think of and he obviously passed away uh late last year um just a few days before the new year on December 28th, I never actually made a video commenting on um, his passing. Uh, to be honest, I was just grieving just like everybody else, even though I didn't know him. That was the appeal of John Madden. It was like somebody that everybody felt like they knew already. That was the great thing about John Madden, the, the, uh, the uh, relatability, the approachability. He just felt like a distant family member, uh, you know, at any point in time. If you were if you were watching him on TV or anything like that, you just felt like you knew him. He was a guy you just felt like you could talk with, maybe have a beer with, whatever you're into. That was John Madden, and I think that's one of the reasons he was so successful in everything that he did. The photo that was released does say All Madden Edition. I don't know if this is a play on words that is suggesting that if you buy, like they always have like the, the extra editions, the Hall of Fame edition, um, you know, whatever they want to call it. I don't know if this is the cover of, you know, whatever the higher editions are going to be or like a collectible edition when it says All Madden Edition, or if they're just saying that this year it's all about John Madden, it's all about the legend that passed away. Uh, which makes a lot of sense either way. So I don't know if there's still going to be a cover athlete reveal uh, coming up. Um, I know a lot of people speculated who it could be. I just made a video recently speculating who the cover athlete could be. Uh, the point is there really wasn't an obvious cover athlete this year like they may have been in previous years like when you know Patrick Mahomes won the Super Bowl or when Tom Brady won the Super Bowl uh in Tampa Bay they typically like to put star athletes especially quarterbacks coming off of you know really big seasons um you know undeniable players like that and there really wasn't an undeniable player I thought maybe Cooper Cup uh might have been one of the better options I mean he just had a great year he just won the Super Bowl last year but he's not a quarterback like I said they really like to to push quarterbacks quarterbacks are the real superstars of this league now uh, uh, similar to NBA players, you know, those top players that really alter the league landscape when they decide to force their way off a roster, force their way to a different situation, whatever. Uh, quarterbacks are the biggest stars in the leagues, without a doubt. I think wide receivers aren't too far behind at this point. You can see by, you know, the contracts that they're getting recently, um, you know, in the same uh, vein. I think those are probably the two biggest high-profile positions in the sport right now. But ultimately, I think this is a really good decision, clearly. I mean, I thought a lot of people speculated that John Madden, at the very least, would have his own edition. And I'm still not sure, based off of what I'm seeing here, if that's the case. But ultimately, EA's official accounts lead me to believe and, and you know, that it's going to be just John Madden. There's going to be no other cover athlete this year, uh, which is kind of a bummer because it is such a big deal when a, when a new athlete... It's like when an athlete reaches that status of, of Madden cover, it's, it's usually a whole new uh, world for them. It usually opens up a whole new level of stardom for them. So that's something that's going to be missed. But I really can't argue John Madden. Clearly, he's the most um, you know influential figure uh, in, in all of you know one of the most influential figures in football history, let alone video game history. So to to memorialize him with this cover, I think is obviously a really good move, and I really don't have any complaints about it. This is John Madden's first cover since the year 2000, so it definitely is. 
uh, different. It's been 20 some years since he's been on the cover. Uh, back then, he was regularly on the cover every year prior to 20, to 2000. I think that was something that um, going back to 92 or 93 when the game started, it was always John Madden. So for older people that played this game back then, um, it's definitely going to be something. Maybe it'll get people older generations that haven't played, picked up Madden in a while. Maybe it'll get them to pick up the game uh, in, in, in you know, a way that they haven't done in a long time based off of that nostalgia appeal of him being on the cover. Now, the second big piece of news, and this is really you know to coincide with the cover release, is going to be a trailer. A first look trailer is going to drop tomorrow. You can actually, if you Google it right now, and I'll try to have a link in the description for people uh, that want to um, you know, have a, a direct link to the Madden trailer when it comes out tomorrow, but it is dropping tomorrow. It's something like 20 hours away, I think at this point, at the time of this recording. Uh, so for people, you know, the trailers, they're not typically, uh, you know too much to, to devolve from the trailers but if there's a lot of information in the trailers uh, i'll probably do a breakdown video of it tomorrow as well uh, because it's an easy video to do and obviously it's a it's going to be heavily searched so if they have a lot of information in the trailer which isn't always the case uh, i'll try to do a breakdown of it i'm really i'm going to be interested to see if there's anything different in the trailer that hasn't already come out uh, in the gameplay leaks. There's a lot of leaks out already um, that already kind of leaked a lot of new features. Now there might be a new feature right here on the screen. This is basically just a screenshot of the YouTube video upcoming, uh, which is gonna be playing starting tomorrow. And there is a small line of text that says introducing field sense, uh, which is something that I haven't heard of yet. I haven't heard that term used in any of the leaks that I saw. I know that they're reworking uh, passing, they're reworking you know, tackle battles and stuff like that. There's a lot of features that came out and it really makes me wonder if they're just you know, putting that all into the umbrella of the new field sense um, you know, functions or something like that. It's really hard to say, but there could be a new, some new features that come out tomorrow. Field Sense could be something new that we haven't previously heard about. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. So if the trailer has any new features, I'll definitely make a video about that. But that's another thing. If you guys want to see a breakdown of tomorrow's trailer, hit the like button and let me in the comment section because that's something I could definitely do. Or like I said, I have a lot of Madden 22 content that I keep pushing back that's already uh, uploaded on my YouTube uh, based off the fact that these leaks keep coming out. And once these leaks keep, I mean, once these, this isn't really a leak. This is an actual, um, you know, drop by EA. But once these start coming out, uh, they usually come out pretty regularly. But the cover and the first trailer are usually uh, the first in a long line of, uh, you know, stuff that's going to keep dropping from EA. I wouldn't imagine, after these two, I wouldn't imagine we'll get something for more than a week or so. But ultimately, um, expect a lot more Madden 23 news to come out uh, as, you know, as, as we're continuously getting closer to the drop of Madden 23. So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more uh, content about Madden 23 as it comes out, me commenting on uh, the things that come out, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.